all you drunk motherfuckers. It's Drunk Letters to Famous People. And per usual, we're shooting at the Beefsteak Club, beautiful downtown Fargo, uh, owned by Scott. I'm fucking Scott, your bartender. Fuck you. We're here to write somebody special. Uh, he's going to be in town for the Rough Riders Tattoo Expo, the first ever tattoo expo in North Dakota. Corey Miller. He's going to be at the Civic Center here in beautiful downtown Fargo, the 24th and 25th. Where yours truly, Drunk Letters of Famous People, we're going to have a booth there. So come and visit us. And drink with us. Woo! Let's get drunk! <laughs> to the wonderful Corey Miller. We have some beautiful ladies that are going to be performing that day, so come check it out. It's going to be awesome. So something not traditional uh, from past episodes, we are not going to be posting this shit. We're going to leave it up to some beautiful ladies. We're also going to be at the Tattoo Expo. They're going to host this shit and write a letter to Corey Miller. They're so beautiful, just check out my boner. The guest hosts everything for today's episode. I hope you enjoy the beautiful Blue Bells for Lessons. My name is Anytime Jones. I'm Kettle Wonder. Sincere. And I'm Oopsie Daisy, and we are Blue Bells Burlesque. Ta da! This is a drink. Sparkles. Oh, sparkles. Oh. <laughs> oh, Glitter! Oh, vaginas! No, no vaginas. <laughs> well, there could be vaginas. If you play your cards right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we are here to talk about Corey Miller. I tried to do some more research about Corey Miller. I really found that. He was married. That's really all I found. Um, yeah, Corey, you really don't have a lot of dirt on your face in any way. <laughs> you don't. You really couldn't your dig up anything on you. Your last name is horrible to look up, especially in the Amish community. <laughs> <laughs> Corey Miller is a world-renowned tattoo artist that is going to be making a guest appearance here in Fargo for the Rough Rider Tattoo Exposition. He is most well known for doing LA Ink. He was a, an artist on that show. Yes. yes. Did you ever catch the episode? Well, I watched him a little bit. Um, he was really known for like his free hands. Oh um, yeah, that's right. Paper. Black and gray as and also well. And portraits. Is cor cor what is it? Coriander? <laughs> <laughs> it's not coriander. <laughs> it's coriental. That's the oh, style that he's self-coined for himself. Coriental. Use with dragons. <laughs> Dragon? Dragons? Dragons? <laughs> I feel a pun coming. <laughs> You're into dragons. I love, I love dragons. I do. Good, because I'll be dragging these balls across your face. <laughs> okay. Oh, my nipples. You can see them. Good. I know. Lord. Did you guys do any research? Uh, yeah, I did some some research. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I mean, so I read the Wikipedia page, it was there, and that's fine, but I felt like I didn't do enough, you know? I went home, like, and I had an, a couple hours off, and I lit a candle, and I was in my room, Ooh. and I masturbated to Corey Miller. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what picture? The, the main picture that he, he was like, well, that's not there, very like, inventive. Well, I mean, I didn't, I don't like doing it to my, like, looking on my phone because you have to, like, it's one you handed. Need it's one handed. <laughs> you need both hands. You gotta get it. So I, I had that picture, like, already there, so it was good. Um, I had to <laughs> add it, like, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I did. Um, I had to add, like, some muscles to him in my head. <laughs> and, uh, that was about it. It, just, it was just taking a while, so. <laughs> Dear Corey Miller, I yeah. masturbated to you. So what did you what did you do in your fantasy with Corey Miller? What happened? Oh my gosh. I, just, I just looked at the, I just I just like looked at something the happened. You know, well, you have to tell me what happened. Nothing, nothing. I was just I was trying to focus on the picture. It was just like I focused on the picture, and then I was like, ah, oh, fuck, broke your list. Yeah. Sorry. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> what was it? What was eucalyptus. Eucalyptus mint. <laughs> From Bath and Body Works, my grandmother bought it for me. Oh! Um, Your grandma bought it for you? I hope she's doing the same exact thing. 
She's masturbating. At 87 years old, I hope to God she is masturbating. D Especially to Corey Miller. DJ Oops She has. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Yes, of course. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh. It worked. Oh, it would, I mean, it was fine. I had to, like, to, like, let go of my grocery list eventually. And just be like... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, That's, is that your O face? My nipples are hard all of a sudden. <laughs> I think mine are too. I'm gonna... You gotta like go in there. It's like. Let me really, see. It's really hard to find good material to masturbate oh. to. It is. We you literally know, have to like, give each other tips. And like, on what yo, to this is good to. porn, and this this is not. Most porn is not catered to you women. You can't. It's catered to men. You can't. God, I just want to like get it done, and then you're like, <laughs> oh god, that's oh, disgusting. I don't want to see your gaping asshole. No. Especially when it does that thing. It has kind of like not all the... like that. Not oh my god. <laughs> no. You got so graphic. It's so <laughs> so graphic. <laughs> so much. I didn't need to know. You don't watch uh, porn. No. I don't either. Just. Twitching sphincter. <laughs> I'm also like, just look at what's going on over here. I'm just an asshole altogether. <laughs> like, I'm just an asshole. Really? Oh, yeah. I take a shit on you. <laughs> oh my god. I take, a, I take a shit on your boobs. Alright, so you guys are on the subject of Cora Miller tattoos. Absolutely. Oh, right. yeah. What do you guys got for tattoos? Yeah. Tattoos? Okay, well. I guess I'll go first. Um, You're the most tatted up, Rod. So I have a little one just got yesterday, actually. Isn't that adorable? Well, little Halloween Isn't guy. That cute. A little portrait. Cool thing. Um, I have a really cool back piece I just got. Yeah, we got this. Oh, Turn okay. around, boys. Turn around. <laughs> oh, oh, be decent. There we go. There's a <laughs> mirror. There's mirrors. There's mirrors. <laughs> Yeah, like that's a beautiful tattoo. Don't pull them down. I'm not it's pulling very them pretty. down, I'm pulling them south. <laughs> so, like, pull them up? Is that what you want? Can you hear though? Have you ever had a tail wedgie? You're the fat. Okay. Yes, you're for I have a tail. Oh my god! <laughs> Safety. Big boobs require Here, double safety. Look at that. Put your tits in this. Where's so my tail? Get some tail. It's like a whole episode of myself. <laughs> I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get some tail. I would like to get. I would okay. fucking be a showgirl any day. You are. You're like. You can be a showgirl. You're like 50% yeah. showgirl. Yeah. Let's see okay. it. I've been planning to do a routine for a showgirl tryouts that go wrong. <laughs> to get back to where we were, Kettle has a tattoo put you back on her butt. I'm hot, I'm hot, Get it up here. <laughs> Let me oh, need oh, 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 no. It's just the. Hang on. Cord. Soft, soft cord. Soft cord. <laughs> soft cord. <laughs> Come here. I want more. <laughs> it says kiss me, look. It says kiss me on it. And you don't even really need a question mark, it is Why a did demand. You that? <laughs> what made you get a kiss me on your butt? Just for funsies. I'll kiss your butt. Were you yeah. drunk? No, <laughs> She was not drunk, everyone. Can you help? You got it? Yes, I was shit-faced. <laughs> no, I have a few tattoos. I only have tattoos that hobos have given me. Yes, I have hobo tattoos. I had a lover that would come in every summer, and we would drink whiskey and fuck around the entire time. He would be there for a few weeks and sleep on my couch. And his dog would stink everything up in my apartment. It was cool. He one year he arrived and he had a tattoo gun and said, "Oh, I want to practice on you a little bit." And I think it was because we were whiskey drunk the whole time. He didn't really have a very good sleight of hand there, so I just had him do little hearts on my feet. And I can't really show you because I have this elaborate shit on. Right That's now. a lie. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. to interrupt you guys, we us men of uh, DL2FB, we actually have. We have our tattoos. Yeah, let's see their tattoos. Let's, let's see with, theirs. Uh, yeah. Let's start with Dustin. Come on. Hop up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh get on the floor. Get on the floor. Come here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> First and foremost, I got my video game leg. Oh, my God. It's Ooh. digital. Oh, that's so cool. And the 8-bit. That's all I'm thinking when I see this. <laughs> and then 
tragic, you tragic jump tattoo. On those eggs really fast. This is Matt. Hi, Matt. Hi, hi. Get a good shot of Matt. We were down in New Orleans for Mardi Gras, and we got hammered as hell. He decided it would be a good idea to steal one of those boats with the big fan on the back. He flipped it. Ah! They didn't find Boy. much of him, but basically he got literally eaten by alligators. Oh man, what? Yeah. That's sobering. Wow, way to take it to there, dude. That... Uh, and that's our episode of Drunk Lives and Famous People. Uh, that in and of itself is a joke. We got drunk. <laughs> Me and Matt got drunk when we were like, we are of age at Alligators 16. in New Orleans? Yeah, I, yeah, I tell people hat? that. And I shit you not. But you do shit us. I, I you shit do. you, yes. No, uh, <laughs> we have each other tattooed on each other because it's funny. We made that agreement when we were like 16. That's They're really friends! Fun. Okay, is that a Friday the 13th tattoo though? It is. I have four. You have four of them? <laughs> Jesus, I gotta get out this bar. Community shed! I have water! Except Woo! for the 20 year old. Aww. Sincere, sorry. DD, which is. We'll okay, get we'll get Everybody there. needs a DD, and everyone. she is amazing because she is a DD. Yes. So. And she is Cheers friends. to her. And I have first tips. Thank you for you hosting. You have your time. Hey girls, we're actually going to meet Corey Miller in person at the Fargo Civic Center the 24th through the 25th here this October. So what would you like to say to him in person when you get the chance to meet him? Or maybe one statement about him. It you could know, be the statement not, about you I'm pleasuring not. yourself or it could be a question about, hey, can you give me a tattoo? I'm not concerned about like talking to him. I just want to know what he smells like. Just go up to him and... <laughs> I, I don't know. I think I would ask him what his favorite part of the body is to tattoo. <laughs> Where would he tattoo Oprah Winfrey? I don't know. She's got that luscious dark skin tone. You could do a lot of black and gray on that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's a couple. Holy shit. I would say like, you know, she's professional. She's a professional lady. So like right under her tip, like right here. <laughs> they are big too. Lift so it she, up. She can lift, lift it, up. it up. Oprah, Oprah should get uh, a tattoo of a book for her book club ship. <laughs> yeah, just one solid book, nothing on it. Just a book. Yeah, just a book. Actually, between her boobs, so when she opens it up, it's like opening up the pages. <laughs> right? It's a flip book through all the skin folds. She can just rub it off. <laughs> you just read Harry Potter, ladies and gentlemen, right there on Oprah's titties. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to being in hula costumes with you guys for the expo. Yeah. Yeah. So much fun. Thank you, Sailor Jerry's. They're providing us with our gear. You'll find us at the expo doing our thing, wearing a coconut bra, and trying to look not drunk because we're, we're going to be drinking shitloads of this at the expo. Bra. Sans bras. <laughs> Not coconut pasties? Bras, like coconuts. Yeah. I don't no. know if I can fit my boobs in a coconut bra. We can just get you coconut pasties. Sailor Jerry presents Fargo's premier two day tattooing celebration. The Rough Rider Tattoo Expo, Friday, October 24th and Saturday, October 25th at the Fargo Civic Center. There will be appearances by celebrity artist Corey Miller of LA Inc. and Blue Bell's Burlesque Lust giveaways, after parties, and more. There's one and two day tickets available for the Rough Rider Tattoo Expo, Friday, October 24th and Saturday, October 25th at the Fargo Civic Center. See RoughRiderTattooExpo.com for more info. Produced by Jade Presents. JadePresents.com. Hey, it's Derek from Drunk Letters to Famous People. What's up? Oh, hi, hi, Derek. All right, so what is the number one thing that you guys are most excited for for the Rough Rider Tattoo Expo? I'm super excited to see some boobs. boobs. I'm gonna yeah, see boobs some, are awesome. Yes. I'm going to see Woo. my friend's boobs and some guest boobs. Really amazing guest boobs. Ophelia Flame and beautiful tattoos. All the skin. Mm. All the oh, tattoos. And Corey Miller. I'm gonna ask Corey Miller what he wants to tattoo on Oprah. My I need to know that shit. My nipples are hard all the time just thinking about this. I'm most excited um, for all the tattoo artists that are going to be there that day that are gonna be tattooing people's asses, arms, butts, that's the thing, asses, uh, legs, faces, <laughs> whatever. All the tattoo artists. Um, and drunk artists, people. Yeah. Blue oh, right. Yeah. 
PBR, Sailor Jerry. Everyone's gonna do it. It's gonna be great. Join us. Now let's read some fucking letters! Dear Corey Miller, dear Corey Miller, thank you for showing up to the 2014 Rough Rider Tattoo Expo. You're the shit. You are a tattoo god. I know you really want to tattoo Oprah. Is that right? I think you're a very handsome man. And my preconception of you not having any hair found out was not true. Your hairline is awesome. Thanks for fucking that up. For how old you are, uh, you managed to maintain your hairline to a certain extent to make you look as old that you are old, or as old as you are. Um, Please tattoo me hard. <laughs> I think I know what you might want to tattoo on her. I have a vague idea of what that's going to be. Should the opportunity arise? You know, the same Corey Miller, what I was thinking about. I think you're a really cool guy, and I think Corey Antle is a great style of tattooing. How was co uh, Cat Cock? Cock Van D. Cock Cat Van D. How was Cock Von Cat? Cat Van D. God damn it. Cat Von D. How was you Cat Von the worst penis jokes. I want a tattoo of a baby dragon. Having sex with a big lion. You know Oprah is gonna live to be like 120 years old with all the La Mer and the green smoothies and the Hollywood witchery and shit. When I get a tattoo, I need another one. I want you to do it. Please come to the place where I work and cook at and eat. How was Cat Never seen. How was Cat Van D during LA Inc? Did you smash that? I would've. <laughs> well, listening to Frank Sinatra and eating cheese and fruit. Slices. So she's gonna see her best friend Gail die horrifically. No doubt about that. So I was thinking maybe you could like lift her tit and just have a professional tattoo of, ta of Gale on there and like, you know, she's a dragon because you're good at dragons and- It's a really good place to eat. And give me back my beer. I mean, oh. and I think you're cool. But if you didn't, that's okay because that skyrocketed you into Oriental shit and you toured- Oriental is a rug. Oriental. Oriental Cori is a rug. Oriental rug shit, so you are in the rug business, that's cool. But, you're also doing tattoos. Way to uh, expand your horizons. Your friend, Kettle Hunter. Sincerely, warmest regards, salutations. Anytime, Jones. That's me. See you later. Thank you for coming to Fargo and bringing Sweet Tattoo Expo stuff to Fargo. P.S. Your best friend, Scott. <laughs> Thank you for showing up to Fargo, being a part of the Rough Rider Tattoo Expo, and helping out Drunk Letters to Famous People, PBR, Sailor Jerry's, Sailor Joey. <laughs> God damn. Oh, Say, work. Sailor Jerry's and break that bottle? the Blue Bells Burlesque Girls because they are fucking awesome and I hope they give you uh, an amazing show. Thank you for showing uh, up. I don't have
and tattoos. Oh, what? Dear the only reason why we're doing this for is like Derek and Dustin, they need it for the wonder. tattoo expo is fucking huge. And like, I don't need a fucking Darla. tattoo, so I'm like the fucking I last man out here. I got nothing. You made me I got nothing. Vomit. You are the